do have to work kind of quickly while the embossing powder is still hot. Make sure I got it all heated up here. Throw it in my tray. Apply another layer of embossing powder. Okay. Heat that up. This was my third layer of embossing powder. And you can make an impression with just three, but I just want to make sure I get a really deep impression. So I'm going to apply one more layer of embossing powder. Just to make sure you get it on here good and thick. Okay. So that's four layers of embossing powder. Kind of working fast, I notice I have embossing powder all over my work surface, but I think I'd be a little neater if I wasn't doing it in front of a camera, I think. Okay, so this is starting to melt. And you'll notice with the consecutive layers of embossing powder, it just heats up a lot quicker. Okay, while this is hot, I'm going to grab a hold of my stamp here and give it one more blast of heat. Make sure it's nice and hot. Okay, now with our stamp that's been prepped, you're going to just lay it down on there, apply some pressure. Now be careful because when the embossing powder is um, hot, it's really slippery and so your stamp kind of wants to slip. So you need to press it straight down and give it some pressure. Now, um, you need to leave that for a few seconds so that the impression can set. Get this out of the way while I'm doing that. Boy, I sure did get embossing powder everywhere, didn't I? Okay, that should be good. And now we're going to lift it off and hold it up here and see if you can see it. But can you see that impression that it made? And that is all there is to this technique. It's very easy. I have a sample to show you of uh, what I created with um, a butterfly just like this. I uh, mounted it on the front of this composition notebook. This is just one of those composition notebooks you can get at the office supply store. And I've covered it with some designer paper. And then I just um, put the butterfly on here. It's, it's perfect with this paper because this paper has uh, butterflies on it. But it came out really cute. I might have to keep this one for myself. I thought I might give it away, but it's too cute. <laughs> okay, here's another butterfly that I did. And I made this with um, thick gold embossing powder. Can you see that? It almost looks like it takes on the effect of stamped metal. And then I just um, used some wires and some beads to decorate it. And then I put a pin back on the back. So this can be worn as a brooch. It's a very inexpensive little piece of jewelry to make for a gift. And I have another sample. Let me move this out of the way. And of course you can use these on cards and scrapbooking projects. There's lots of different things you can use this for. Here is a card I made with a chipboard shape and I stamped it uh, or covered it in uh, Bravo Burgundy ink. And uh, then I, as you can notice, it has like a gold coloring to the top and I will show you how I did that. Um, I'm going to start with a chipboard shape that I've already made an impression in. You see that? Let me bring my scratch pad back in here. And I have these um, metallic rub-ons that I purchased at a local craft store. Let's see, uh, let's use silver. You just put a little on your finger and you're just gonna go over the top of that impression you made and the uh, metallic rub-on is going to stay on the raised surface. And it just really brings out 
the impression and it really has a dramatic difference. Okay. And there it is. Hopefully you can see that. Let me get one over here so you can see the difference. Here is one that has just the impression on it and here is one with the metallic rub-ons. So you get a really different look. It's really fun to do. Here's another um, chipboard shape that I made an impression on it and I applied some gold rub on to it. That would be really fun to put out like on a gift bag or even you know punch a little hole in it and make a, an ornament out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this technique and I uh, will be back very soon with more.